Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm giving you the lowdown on all of the mineral sunscreens. I've tried so many. We're gonna be talking about tinted ones, non-tinted ones, and at the end of the video, I will give you my top picks. But let's get started. So the weather's warming up. We're probably all spending more time outside. Sun protection is important year round, but especially in the summer, if you're looking for a new sunscreen, we're gonna talk through all of them so you don't end up wasting your money. I'm gonna start with ones that are non-tinted so they don't really have any coverage to them. And I have ones of all different price levels as well. So let's go ahead and start with this one from Say Beauty. This is their Sun Visor Broad Spectrum SPF 35. I'll also be talking about their tinted version. So this one's the sheer one. It's a sheer moisturizer. It does have a slight tint to it and it is 15% zinc zinc oxide so i will blend this in on my hand it has this sort of grayish pink tint so what i really like about this is it's very dewy if you have dry skin i think you would really like this the con for me is the tone of this if i'm wearing this under makeup it's fine but it just has an unflattering tone on my skin because i'm fair olive anything that's like peachy or too cool toned it just shows up very weird on my skin so if you have neutral cool skin you might end up liking this undertone but because of that this is not my absolute favorite but if you have dry skin you want something very moisturizing it does work well under makeup as well i think this one is a good pick but if you have oilier skin and you don't like anything too dewy this would be a pass because it is quite glowy next i have the sunscreens from kinship they have a couple different kinds they're all pretty much the same they just have different like scents and ingredients so the name of the sunscreen is the Self Reflect Moisturizing Sunscreen. These are SPF 32. I have the regular one and then I also have the rose one. So let's see, both of these have 22.4% zinc oxide. The difference between the rose and the regular is the rose has, has rose in it. And this one I believe has ginger in it. They both have a very similar finish. As you can tell, I do like this one because it is almost empty. So here is the texture of the Kinship one. This one is on the more affordable side. So it has more of that white pinkish tint. But what I love about this is it has a very like subtle glow in it, like a pearlescence in it. I sort of feel like it's similar to the Say Super Glowy Gel, a little bit more toned down. So this is very moisturizing. It's quite, it's not quite as oily feeling as the Say Beauty one though. So this would be nice if you have normal to dry skin or if you have oily skin and you don't mind like a more moisturized base. I love the pearl on it. It's one of my favorites. It feels lightweight and it also performs really well under makeup. I'm not the best at testing white cast because I am so fair, but because this has that slight pink tint to it, it is flattering and I don't feel like after it sinks in, there's like really any white cast on me at least. So this one, the regular one, whatever one you pick, I really love these. Next we have another more affordable one. This is from Coco Kind, which I believe they do sell at Target. So this is their daily SPF and this is SPF 32. This one has 21% zinc oxide. This one does not have any tint to it at all. So it comes in a 1.7 ounce tube by the way. This one is also 1.75 and the Say Beauty one is 1.35. So you're getting a little bit less product in here. So this Coco Kind one looks exactly how you would expect a mineral sunscreen, but once you blend it in, it does feel nice. This one I think would be nicer for like normal to oily skin because it doesn't offer a ton of moisture when you're blending it in. But if you have a moisturizer underneath it, I think it's pretty nice. Not my absolute favorite formula. I really prefer the glow and like the Kinship ones, but it's a really solid sunscreen. Like I don't really have anything super terrible to say about it. It's just not sort of in my top tier. Next is actually a new launch from Rose Inc. And this is their Solar Power Luminous SPF 30 Serum, which I was really interested to try. This is 14% zinc oxide and it is one fluid ounce. So that is pretty small for sunscreen. You'd probably go through this quite quickly. First off, I just don't like these like dropper applicators. They're just, I don't know, not the most practical. Here's what the texture looks like. As you can tell, it is running down my hand a little bit. So it's a bit thinner because it is a serum formula. So I will go ahead and blend it on my hand for you. This one is has a really like strong shine to it. Hopefully you can tell on my hand compared to the others. It doesn't necessarily have like pearl in it. It's kind of just like, it's pretty oily feeling. I do like this one as long as I'm not pairing it with anything too heavy and it's set down nicely. 
but if you have oily skin i think you would not like this at all it is just very very moisturizing and i think even if you set this down with powder it can just feel a little bit oily on the skin so it kind of depends what you prefer also the pink tint if you maybe have a warmer skin tone might not be as flattering but it's pretty translucent on me so this one is decent but i think if you're gonna spend money on like a higher end sunscreen eh, i don't know if this would be my number one pick Next is another higher end option. This is from 11 by Venus. Unrivaled Sun Serum SPF 35. This is a brand that is sold on Credo. This is a 100% sheer mineral sunscreen, 25% zinc oxide. Is that the highest we've had so far? Okay, I believe this is the highest percentage of zinc oxide we've had so far. This is also one of those serum-y ones. So right off the bat, just not, this actually doesn't even work. Yeah, it barely picks up product. It's also like separated, even though I did shake it. Yeah, this dropper <laughs> is not going too well for this sunscreen. Really does not pick up a lot of product. This is like so, so, so shiny. It's sort of like the Rose Ink one, but like even grosser feeling. Even if you have dry skin, I would avoid this. It is so like greasy and it's also like gritty feeling. Like it's not a nice glow also worked really poorly under makeup it which was so unfortunate like i really wanted to like this but it's quite literally one of my least favorite sunscreens it's just like an oil slick on your face and it does not go well under makeup it feels gritty it feels gross and there's just so much better options out there my last non-tinted one is one from naked sundays this is like a pretty small brand i hadn't heard of them before they sent me this so this is the Collagen Glow 100% Mineral Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. This has plant-based collagen and antioxidants. It's water resistant for 80 minutes. So this one has 22.75% zinc oxide. So it says it's the 3-in-1 primer, sunscreen, and moisturizer. What I thought was so interesting about this is when I put it on my hand, so it has this grayish undertone to it which if you have neutral olive skin or like cool tone skin, you might actually really like this undertone and find that it cancels redness. I really like this formula. It's quite thick if you saw that initial swatch, but it blends in very beautifully and doesn't like feel too heavy or greasy. The tone is like okay on me. I usually end up putting makeup over this. Makeup goes over it really well. It is a bit thicker, so it's gonna feel slightly heavier on the skin. But if you want something that's like pretty heavy duty, I feel like this stays on my face really well, like I don't sweat it off easily. This one's actually a nice pick. Moving into our tinted sunscreens. These are one that are tinted either slightly or tinted enough to sort of give you coverage. Let's start with one that's pretty widely talked about, Elia Super Serum Skin Tint. I really like this when it came out, but now that I've tried a lot of other options, it's not necessarily my favorite anymore. This is one that just feels a little bit heavier. In terms of ones that are in the dropper bottle, it does have more, more of a gel consistency versus having like a super oily consistency. This is the shade ST3, by the way, which is Balos. Balos. This is a pretty good match for me. This does give you nice coverage. It is just slightly dewier than I would prefer because you do have to apply a lot of sunscreen and when I apply a lot of this, it just ends up a little too dewy. It also doesn't set down the best. I don't mind some dewiness as long as it sort of absorbs into the skin or can be set down. I feel like that's kind of the con with this one. It does have really nice coverage. If you have dry skin, I think you would enjoy this. Maybe more oily skin, I would pass on this because it is quite dewy. Remember I wore this at the beach one time and so much sand stuck to my face. So that's like a big con with this. Maybe not more practical for like rugged outdoor settings, I guess, but maybe just like walking around in the city, like it could definitely work for you. So let's follow that up with a newer sunscreen from Elia, which I also have here, which is the C Beyond Triple Serum SPF 40 vitamin C, niacinamide, and allotonin. This does not like necessarily made to have coverage, but it does have a slight tint to it. It has this little push-up bottle. Yeah, first off, the shade, like the tint of it, I don't know. This is one of those that's like, it's very oily feeling as well. When you blend this in, the tint is okay. It can make me look a little bit orange. 
I don't like this because it breaks my skin out. Like it gives me an allergic reaction. I'm not sure what's in this that gave me an allergic reaction, but I also wasn't a huge fan of the texture. It actually pilled with my makeup and it has this like grittiness to it. I should take this off before I get a rash. But it's just one of those that's not my favorite and for one fluid ounce for the price of it there's definitely way better options i just it's a flop for me personally next up we have the tinted version of the say sunscreen which is the slip cover broad spectrum spf 35 tinted moisturizer this is the shade two and this is 15 percent zinc oxide so this comes in a pump bottle i absolutely love the style of packaging that this has so here is the shade two this is a pretty good match for me, I would say. I love the sunscreen. I was actually wearing this earlier today when I went for a walk. It has really good coverage, as you can tell. It's pretty much like a, it's a tinted moisturizer, as the name suggests, which is beautiful. And I feel like you can put a lot of this on and it still blends out to be very beautiful and it is quite dewy, but I set it down and it like absorbs into the skin and it doesn't just like sit on top of the skin. So this one is beautiful. I think out of the higher end options, this is one of my favorites. Next we have this one from Josh Rosebrook, which is the Nutrient Day Cream, definitely a pricey option. This is Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It's a tinted facial cream moisturizer. I love Josh Rosebrook skincare products. This, I mean, how can I make that color work? I just can't. Even if I'm like self tanned, like it just, even when it's blended out, it just has this like orangey tint to it. It has a really nice finish, I must say. Like it's not too dewy, it sinks into the skin nicely. The big con is just the tone of it. If you have more medium skin, you might like this. This is one, it's not super heavy duty. Like I feel like it comes off pretty easily. I did wear this to the beach like years ago when I first tried this product and I had to reapply it a lot and I still got like sunburnt. I should have been wearing like a hat and stuff, but that's besides the point. Like this is, I feel like a nice everyday one for under makeup, but in terms of like heavy duty sunscreen protection, not my favorite. And I would only recommend it if you feel like the tint would work for you. It's just one of those that's so, so. And then we have another sort of like tinted moisturizer foundation type of vibe from Tower 28. The Sunny Days SPF 30. This is the tinted sunscreen. I have the shade 16 Melrose. So this is reef safe mineral, won't cause breakouts, vegan and cruelty free, 12.6% zinc oxide. This comes in another dropper bottle, which I really enjoy the applicator. So here is the swatch of this. I would say out of all the tinted sunscreens I have, this has the most coverage. This is essentially a light coverage foundation, which I think is really nice if you do want coverage out of your sunscreen. Shade's a little bit dark for me, but I did also wear this one the other day. This is really nice on its own. It also sets down well, but if you plan on wearing this like all day as like a foundation type of product, it doesn't last well because it starts to sort of like break down. Sorry, there's a fire truck. So it starts to break down and get cakey throughout the day. But if you use it like I use it, which is kind of just like going for walks or like shorter period of time, I think it's really beautiful. It's very nice to apply. The pigment is even. I think this is one of the best tinted ones for sure and it has the most coverage. So it's quite unique in that way. Lastly, I have two here from Hero Cosmetics. First is the Force Shield Super Light SPF 30. So this is made for sensitive and acne prone skin. It's 17.53% zinc oxide and it has superfoods and really nice ingredients. Love the packaging of this because it just pumps out super easily. So this is the green tinted one. If you've seen me try this or use it before in a video, you may know this is one of my all time favorite sunscreens. You should be able to tell it's one of the thinnest mineral sunscreens that I have. If you really don't like that thick mineral sunscreen feel, this one is amazing. The finish of it is perfect. It's like a satiny finish. I love that it's tinted green because it helps to cancel out redness. If you have more of like medium deep skin, this might have a white cast on you, but there's a different option. If you have fair skin, you wanna cancel redness. You want something that's very, very well performing under makeup. This is amazing. I always use this one under makeup. It's such a good primer. This I've repurchased several times. I've worked with them in videos before, but I really just truly stand by the sunscreen. It is 
probably my favorite. Next, if you wanted that same formula, but if you have a darker skin tone, they have this new one, which is the Super Beam Sunscreen SPF 30. So this is essentially the same formula, but instead of having a green tint, it has apricot pigment, so it has a orange tint to it. Obviously, if you have skin tone similar to mine, this is probably just gonna be orange on you like it is on me, but because it has that orange tint to it, less likely to have a white cast on medium to darker skin tone. So I do like how they have those two options because both the formulas are amazing. It just depends what kind of tint you want. And even though these don't have like coverage level tint, I still wanted to include them in the tinted category because they do have like a priming tinting type of action. Since we ran through everything, I'm going to give you my top three picks. My first one would be the Kinship Self Reflect. This is like a good untinted version. It has such a pretty glow. It's beautiful under makeup and I really like the price of it as well. And you get 1.75 ounces. This one's just beautiful. If I want something to add glow that doesn't feel too heavy, doesn't break me out either. So good for sensitive skin. This is one of my favorites. Second has got to be the Hero Cosmetics for Shield. Like I just mentioned, this is one of my all-time favorites. I love the green tint. It is superior for under makeup. It's the lightest feeling out of all of these. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely try this one out. It's still moisturizing, so it applies nicely, but it doesn't really like leave you with a greasy feeling. So that one is beautiful. And then my favorite tinted option would have to be the Say Slip Cover. This has less coverage than like the Tower 28 one, but I just feel like this one between these two, this one just feels a little bit nicer on my skin. It sinks in a little bit better. I do like how this has more coverage, but because of that, it can look a little bit makeup-y. But if I just want a slight tint, this one is really nice. These top three, if you have similar skin tone to mine, if you like similar finishes and have a similar skin type as well, <laughs> those would be my top three. If you have a favorite sunscreen that I did not mention here, I would love to know in the comments below. I'm always down to find a new favorite sunscreen. Also, if you would like a review on any other sunscreens that I didn't mention here, also comment below. Maybe I will check those out to review. I really hope you find this helpful. I know it is so extremely hard because there's tons and tons and tons of sunscreen formulas out there. Brands are constantly coming out with their own, but this was my total roundup of mineral, tinted and not tinted sunscreen. Give this video a like if you did find it helpful and enjoyable and subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss my next video. Thank you for tuning in to my sunscreen video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.